Six modern quizzes try to match one of the greatest performances in UK quiz show history. Will they succeed? Does the name Bill McCaig mean anything to you? Uh, no. Okay, Bill McCaig back in 1999 set the record score on 15 to 1. He scored mm. 433 by getting all 40 questions in the final round correct. So you'll be yeah. facing the 40 questions he faced from 1999. Um, you'll have the three lies, but you'll basically face all 40 questions. If you get to the end and you've got any lives remaining, then those um, lives get added onto your score as points. Then there's a leaderboard to see who's kind of done the best on the Bill McKay challenge. Okay, the history of medicine. In 1948, mm. a modern version of which oath was drawn up by the World's Medical Association in Geneva? Hippocratic. Correct. History of TV from the 1960s and 70s. The police constables Jock Weir, Bert Lynch and Bob Steele appeared in which police drama set in the fictional town of Newtown? Uh, Z Cars? Correct. Shakespeare. Which Shakespeare play is set in ancient Britain and opens in the palace of the elderly king who has decided to give up his kingdom and divide it among his daughters? Um... Oh... That would be... Um, Cymbeline? That's King Lear. 20th century Britain. What's the significance of the dates? August the 9th, 1902 June the 23rd, 1911, May the 12th, 1937, and June the 2nd, 1953. Um, coronations of monarchs? Yes. Yep, correct. Sporting records. The record time for this four and a half mile event stands at eight minutes, 47.8 seconds, which was set in 1990 by Mr. Frisk. Which famous event? Uh, Derby. The other one, the Grand National. Yeah, I, it was going to be one of the two, yeah. It was. In English law, what is deemed to be the first priority for payment from the estate of a deceased person? Um, funeral costs. Yes. The Bible of the New Testament. Who in Revelations chapter 6 symbolise conquest, slaughter, famine and pestilence? Um, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Correct. Literature. What sort of creature in P.G. Woodhouse's book is the Empress of Blandings? Mm, oh God. A horse? She's a pig. Mm. Science. Mount Wilson in California, Siding Spring in Australia and Mauna Kea in Hawaii. What's the scientific connection? Um... Highest mountains? Their observatories. Um, that's okay. Television 1960s. In which series from the 1960s was the character John Drake, a troubleshooter for NATO's Secret Service Department? Um, the Man from Uncle? That's Danger Man. And which actor played John Drake in the series Danger Man? No idea. Okay, it's Patrick McGowan. What's the chemical symbol for lead? EB. Crime. The surname, please, of the famous Edinburgh body snatching partners in the 19th century who murdered at least 16 people, most of them old men or women. Burke and Hare. Correct. Still on crime. Which major crime took place on the 18th of August 1963, just short of Bridego Bridge near Cheddington in Buckinghamshire? Great train robbery. Correct. Geology. Of what features is speleology the study? Caves. Correct. Proverbs, the journey of a thousand miles must begin with what? Um, one step. Yeah. The EU, the CAP, accounts for nearly half of the community's budget. What is the CAP? Common Agricultural Policy. Correct. The USA, Portsmouth, Norfolk and Richmond are three of the major cities in which US state. Uh, Virginia. Correct. In which country is the Kruger National Park, the largest game reserve in the world? Um, South Africa. Correct. Who at the age of 59 was the oldest monarch to accede to the British throne in the 20th century? Um, George VI? Edward VII. 
Science. A body floating in a fluid displaces its own weight of fluid. That's the principle named after which ancient Greek mathematician? Archimedes. Correct. Which group of islands in the Atlantic is named after the fierce dogs that live there? The name coming from the Latin word for dogs. Um... Canaries? Yes. Okay, first picture question. So look at this picture and tell me who is the man, a famous name in football? Uh, Terry Venables. Correct. Horse racing. In which county can you go to the races at Ascot, Windsor and Newbury? Surrey. Berkshire. Mm. In which ocean are the islands of Reunion, Mauritius and Rodriguez? Indian. Correct. Famous couples. Who's the wife of the jazz musician John Dankworth? Uh, Cleo Lane. Correct. Will Self, the poet, Alex Stewart, the England captain, Trevor Bayliss, the inventor of the clockwork radio, and Timothy Spall, the actor, all appeared for the first time in the 1999 edition of which annual reference book? Burke's Peerage. It's Who's Who. Mm -hmm. Motorcars, the Volkswagen. What's the literal English translation of Volkswagen? Um, people's Car. Yeah. Um, this former cabinet member was known as the Enforcer. What is his name? Jack Cunningham. Correct. Which organisation runs the annual Chelsea Flower Show in London? Royal Horticultural Society. Correct. Where in South West One Postal District of London is the famous Annie's Bar to be found? Oh, um... Chelsea. It's the Houses of Parliament. Okay. The English defeat of the French at Agincourt, Joan of Arc was burnt at the stake and Eton College was founded by Henry V. All in which century? Um, the 15th. Correct. Opera. Which opera by Puccini opens in a Japanese house set in a Japanese garden overlooking Nagasaki? Um, let me get the right one. Um, Madame Butterfly? Correct. Of which continent are the Seychelles in the Indian Ocean apart? Um, Asia. It's Africa. By what name is a long case clock more popularly known? Grandfather clock. Correct. The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up is subtitle of which famous children's play? Peter Pan. Correct. Politics. Which Spanish word meaning council or board is often used for a military government? Um, junta? Yes. In which field of the arts is Vanessa May a famous name? Um, music, violinist. Yes. How many witches make a coven? Ooh. Three? It's 13. And the Baker Street Irregulars is a literary society devoted to the study and appreciation of whom? Sherlock Holmes. Correct. That's the end of the 40 questions. What's your reaction to, to these questions from 21 years ago? Um, I think probably okay. I mean, some of the things like, I don't know, if, if the Derby winner, sorry, if the, the Grand National winner had been more recent, I think I'd probably have got that. Yeah. Um, so I think there's a bit of that, but, you know, thinking back to the 90s, things like Jack Cunningham, I actually um, did a PhD with uh, with um, her um, his daughter, so I, I remembered <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, very nice. It's lovely. It doesn't matter how you know, does it? It's just lovely when it falls your way. With a score of 283 points, Lucy Reynolds goes into second place on the leaderboard. Will the next competitor be able to take top spot away from Barry Humphrey? Well, thanks a lot for doing this. Um, a lot of fun, really good. Good, it's, well, it's nice to do. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Take care. And Bye. you. Bye.